Mech Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Hardcore Modded Extreme. Anything with a guitar solo that extreme has to be good. You just know it. Hello, Commando Gaming. Hello, Inquisition. Kyogre is uh, right, right there. Actually, I can't reach. All my arm slips into the void. Yes, the thug is here. The thug life. We did not choose the thug life. It's Saturday. Who can keep track anymore? I can keep track. Why? Because I stream on Saturdays. So welcome to this lovely Saturday. 155 bits from the last stream. The jingle. Oh, thank you so much, Renato. I do very much appreciate it. Pyro is here as well. Let's see how many mechs we lose today. Absolutely none. I should put forth a challenge. Uh, no, we'll probably lose at least three, but hey, we're gonna go to our very best shot. So even the YouTube people are here already. We've got a mission all nice and lined up. We are slightly over tonnaged, but you know what? I think we're gonna have some fun. Unless Kyogre doesn't want to drive my rifleman, in which case, we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, so the name of the game is MechWarrior 5. The mods are, well, in a pastement link, which Sprogue might actually be super awesome and throw up in the link below, which should include all the mods by now. I did forget to add the thug. The thug is now on the mod, which is great. Uh, and give good instructions. We will lose the thug calling it now. Oh, it's a cruel one. So, the heart, the mods, Sprog will be putting up soon. Oh, Orando got beat him to it. Nice job. And we, the hardcore comes from the three special rules that we play with. One of them doesn't matter, and the other two are actually really important. Rule number one, dead is dead. If any single mech loses its center torso, the mech must be sold. We can't use it anymore. We are not allowed to fix it. Rule number two, aluminum. Aluminum, I, I will speak. I swear to God I can speak English. Aluminum, uh, where we are only technically allowed to use 75, 70 percent of our full tonnage, which is brutal. It's becoming really brutal now, actually. Uh, get a full lens of thugs. We'll see about it. And rule number three is wherever possible, try and utilize some form of Star League era mech combination setup. Mainly, just try not to use a, a, a standard scout lens every single time you go out. Hello, Red Five. Red Five, welcome to the stream. It has been a while. We've missed you. I'm very happy that you've decided to come back. All right, so I'm going to turn on the people who are joining me on this one for the doom and the gloom and all the pain that we're about to suffer, but they're pretty awesome, so I think we're going to have a good old-fashioned time of things. I'm going to shut off the display capture so that it doesn't show that again. And... Undefin. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. There we are. All right. I am being joined today, of course, by Kyogre. Uh, Ardrek Rockfist, also known as Click20, and Corbin117, also known as Sean. Uh, they are the lovely, awesome people who are going to be with me today. How heavy is the thug? 80 or 85 tons? I think it's 80 tons. I mean, I can check. I have the I have the technology. Yeah, 80 tons. Correct, 80 it's tons. Also, it's also gigantic, because <laughs> uh, every single mod has been volumetrically rescaled for Reloaded, because Naviad was looking at these, and like, these are stupidly tall. This is not how big battle mechs are. Except the thug. So the thug is gigantic. But it's cool, so we're gonna use it anyway. Oh, Lance, hey, who stole weapons. my artillery? Uh, ooh, that's right. We do need to get you in your proper artillery. Uh, so why don't you guys shuffle Max, see who needs what, so that you can get all equipped with all your death dealing devices? Sean, what would you like to drive today? Also, Talik, what would you like to drive today? Oh, I'm happy with the Iran too. <laughs> we're bringing in the big boys. <laughs> all right, Sean, what would you like to drive? I like SRMs. SRMs, I can't really provide, unfortunately. Uh, none of our mechs... Oh, no, I can. There you go. <laughs> if you're okay with a javelin. Uh, Warhammer have some? Uh, it's got a 3-pack, right? Uh, I don't think we have a Warhammer with 3 SRM. Oh, you mean the, uh, the Wolverine. Right. Yes, good point. Yeah. Thank you. All right, technically we are limited to 275, 273, but we round up to the 275. So, can I show the insides of the thug? Well, now that's starting to get really personal. Uh, sure, we can throw that. We'll go to Battle X. We'll come over to our thug. The thug is very limited in what it can do. It has two energy and two uh, missile hard points. So, basically, two PPCs and two SRMs. If you can cram in some MRMs, you might have a lot of fun with it. I've been watching Zoids lately. Oh, wow. Man, that takes you back. The Liger. Oh, it's the Wolverine. So yeah, a pair of PPCs, the both tier threes, and a pair of SRM6 Artemis, and we're gonna hopefully get our hands on a 320 rated XL engine to really spice things up, but that's gonna be in the future. So for now, we have a mission all set and ready to go, so let's kick things off and murder face Flea Gang best game. <laughs> hello, hello Mitch. If we can get three fleas or four fleas, that'd be actually pretty funny. Needs double heat sinks though. Uh it's not as hot as you might think. Although the ER PPCs would certainly make it very toasty. That, that would make things very hard to just sort of continue on rocking and rolling without, you know, dying. 
Uh, the Artemis Flow Long Tom for All. <laughs> long Toms are a lot of fun. There is no denying this. I have not used the Long Dom, but uh, that'll happen eventually. You should try it in the next drop, maybe. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to wait until I get another two mechs with Long Toms on them before I'm ever going to get a, a chance to actually get my hands on them. I like, how the, I like how the Wolverine actually looks like a Wolverine Sensors because the machine guns online. look like claws coming out Weapons of it. Online. Uh, All right. systems Time nominal. To murder face. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We've been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. Right, let's go after the one that's obviously not the actual target. We're going to go way out here to, uh, to the 1600 meter range target. The weather is a bit choppy today, but that's okay. We have night vision, which, you know, looks through it if it didn't blind you. And heat vision, which looks through it and, well, you look like the predator, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you can't get it up. <laughs> he cannot. You tried taking it from me and we gonna fight. <laughs> fight, fight. We just gotta get you an a, a Annihilator with two of them. Target acquired. Ooh, we have a Banshee. That's actually a pretty decent Banshee. That's two lar three large pulse lasers. That's pretty scary, actually. And come on. So we have quite the force coming down our way. E Division on. Getting shot at by something. Well, well, it's probably also you. So. Oh, that was just a one shot. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, I guess all that. That was amazing. I'm fixed uh, to go do it. Oh. Uh, I'm not I gotta get my hands in some actual artillery. I just basically one shot at a locust at like 700 meters. It disappeared. So apparently, I'm one of the few mechs that we actually have built this like designed like a classic battle. <laughs> Ooh, that that hit me. Oh wow. Here we go. Watch it. <laughs> that hit me. Dude, that went right past. No, it here. literally hit me. <laughs> Damn, there goes all his armor. <laughs> Look at the banshee. As soon as I finish dueling with the commando, I know that it feels like I'm way stepping down, but my right torso is nearly exposed. And you're me. Please explode. There we go. Okay. Oh god, there's another bloody commando! This is what, three, four commandos at this point? My right torso is exposed. There we go. Uh, Gotta make sure it's dead. Can read pilots record? Uh, sometimes. We have a we have a small group that we have on rotation. Ooh, is that Banshee dead yet? I, I'm assuming so, since he's not shooting me. Oh, that's, that's an AC-20 20 20 burst fire wow. <laughs> Let's kill that from here. Or, you know, the artillery can do the job for me. Whew. You suddenly turn off a vision and it's like, you can't see anything. Alright, so that's the first target taken care of. But, oh my god, those commandos. I need uh, to chill out now. We need to fix those things heat problems. How about are you yep. problems? Oh, wow, you're still on fire. Uh, two shots and I'm overheating and gone. Yeah, you're still toasty. Hello, we need nice. maybe more engine in him so we can put maybe some more heat. Uh, we yeah. need to balance for units. We have a reserve roll on this guy. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go for the next target. Hopefully, actually, I should probably just sit at range and let you guys do your work. Because at this point, my entire right torso almost falling off is probably a bit of a problem. Yeah, we don't want to lose another set of people. Yeah, we've lost them, quite a few. Are those birds? I don't want to loop to. Yeah, there are birds in this game. You just never notice them. One of them hands off. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get my hands on it. We need to get you a double heat sink kit, though, in order to oh, handle yeah. that one down here. Uh, it's, it's necessary. What we might be able to do, although we'll probably need a smaller engine, is we could probably. T no, never mind. I was about to say we could probably take the king crab and put a pair of long toms in it, but we can't because the long toms won't fit in the arms. They need yeah. more space. 
That would be funny though. <laughs> it would be. Uh, it's certainly put a pair of snipers on there. Just the recoil ripping his arms off every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the Fafnir needs. To, I think the Fafnir needs to make a pilot skill roll every single time it fires both of its heavy Gauss rifles. So. It just falls over straight backwards. Yep. Oh, there goes the target. shot. Take nice shot. That's a lot of medium lasers. Oh, I shot through its legs somehow. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, a red center torso. And there goes the rest of the zone. Got a nice orange torso. There we go. Target acquired. We need to have somebody else. Target coming. coming to us on the right. That's oh. an Atlas. That's a multi burst fire AC5 Atlas. That's an odd light out. Oh, there goes most of his armor. It's all on his back. Aim for the side behind by. him. Yeah, if you aim for the behind him, you might crit everything out. We need to get shared to put them fastest in this game. Just for no other reason than firing heavy artillery. Although the Festus, surprisingly, can actually carry a long time. I would love it if the Leo Festus could get in this. That is my favorite Audi neck. Jade! I just love how it looks. Oh, I'm just getting laid out. And the reason why is because I aggro everything. Because you guys develop no aggro. Good job. I think he's dead. Yup. You kind of hit him with enough heavy artillery shells. Oh, yeah. You're having a rough day, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Super. Oh, I'm going to go up and, you know, fix my breakfast on this plating there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just throw an egg out. Put you on a sled so we can drag you. Can you imagine if this was not an ice biome? Oh, that's even worse. The last time was the desert, wasn't it? That was just <laughs> heat everywhere. <laughs> Uh, long time is an awesome weapon, but you need his men. So it's 30 rounds in a ton, so you can do the math. That's for the thumper. Wow. He tore him apart. Target, target to the right is... Ooh, hello. Oh, never mind. I thought for a second that was the solid shot LB-10s. You know, it's just string fire guns. I'm helping with the medium target laser! Do not underestimate the medium laser. So many mechs have a backup loadout of just four medium lasers, and it's useful all the way through the assault range. Well, I mean, it's a free AC-20 for less heat, no <laughs> ammo restrictions. Well, it's more heat, but yeah, it's it's really nice. Like, even the Atlas is mounting for four medium lasers. Two of them shoot backwards, I but... I think that way is a ditch. Yeah, uh... the map looks like it's a ditch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not my bad flash Jasper turn. For a long time. Yeah, a long time. I think we've got five tons of ammunition for a long time. So we're we're cramming it as much as we can. Yeah, something like 48 rounds we start with. Oof. We only need that many though. To... Yeah, if I can get you guys with a uh, a double long tom setup, that would be hilarious. I think I will... a mech that could be the Corsair, if anything. Yeah, maybe. Get it Oh, uh, the Annihilator can do it, too. Because it's got the torso hard points for it. There's a turret somewhere off to the right. There it is. I hate agriculture! <laughs> what are they farming out here in the open? I don't know, but it's probably like hell, man. Oh, there he goes. It's kind of incinerated. Oh, he, he went. See if you can't get eyes on this target so you guys can do them. My money's on a Banshee. I say a Victor. Banshees are good mechs, well, depending on the Banshee. They can be. Why did I do that? I wanted to hit that button. It's never something you want to hear a thug pilot say, why did I press that button? Uh, the helicopter pilot had a family? Well, so do I. I have bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. There is nothing in this world for free. He builds for life. No house bills. Uh, 
is this the cannon or the actual gun? We're using the full-on artillery piece. It's the big boy. It's the 30 tons 30 of beam. tons. We've got eyes on the primary. Drop them before their friends show up. All right, let's see who's right. We got a bet for a victor and a bet for a Vanshee. Target acquired. It's an awesome. Dude, we're all wrong. I can't do it. You can hit the full oh, armor. Still and do there's a headshot. Headshot? Oh. Yeah, I certainly hurt the head. Uh, I have a bet for a dead T-Rex? Nah. I'm just gonna hide. I'm gonna let them do all the work. As long as you get the little guys, we'll shell the crap out of him. Uh, it's actually the little guys that you guys need to take care of. Because they're gonna get it behind me. And... Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, God wow! Damn it's broke. What? God damn, he's broke! Ow, that was the cockpit! Ow! He just laser accurate hit all three in the center torso. The thug is gone. Yes, well, Pyro, you did call rip. it. We should give Pyro a quick one. Should be made out of asbestos. <laughs> yep, it's just, just red, ain't it? Red. Uh, so if you hit, I think it's I, you can shut off the mech manually to chill out faster. But I'd hide him. Ow! Oh, he is hitting cockpits! Jeez, that's the second shot! Yeah, this dude is not playing around. Okay, I need to pull back and cool off. Yeah, pull back, shut down the mech, just let it chill. Should be safe here. There you go, Karen has got it. We've got an all of them, Commander. So did we just not have heat sinks on your thing, or what? Now no, we've got heat sinks, but it's just, it builds that Eva much point. heat, and everything oh. is in weight safe. That's in the water! Run! Get to the point, I'll try and shut them. I was just about to ask you to leave that as much as... It's P, not I? Huh? Jared, no, I, right I didn't need to charge, I peeked out in order to fire two PPCs, and he just like, instantaneously wiped it out. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Oh, that, he's angry. That's why Kenzie's driving a, a uh, awesome right now, and not that Warhammer. Although I'm thinking about trying to convert the Warhammer into something she'd like. You can do it, Sean. There we go. We're out. Ooh, my torso is cherry red. Yeah. I'm surprised you go got home. past the Marauder. Well, he does have jump jets. He can fly. All I lost was machine guns. Nice. P for power? Oh, it's B. Oh, I see what you're saying. But I for ignition. The remix to ignition. Oh, fresh out the kitchen. Am I dating myself when I make that reference? Because I kind of get the feeling that I am. All I remember is using I for ignition on Fox 4 or whatever it was, those old simulation flight games. Okay. We're gonna grab that. Uh, we are not gonna grab the endo steel because it's a light kit. Reinforced cockpit. Grab some legs. I don't really need a sensor Damn, upgrade. No, yeah, we really need to get you a, a little bit of a bonus on that. I felt like a lynx in a dinosaur fight there. I was way under taunt. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah, he sniped the absolute center out of your mech in one go. Wow. Pretty rough. It was pretty rough. We're gonna head to Caledonia. Because that's where it's safe. 725,000 sea bills is what this company's sucking down right now. The rare banshee and a rare cyclops in the store. How adorable. Oh wow, that banshee is laser heaven. One yeah, you might want to little that. Uh, it's single uh, heat sinks though. We can fix that. <laughs> Interesting king crab. Hey, it's Sprogue's, uh, Sprogue's Marauder. Two large lasers and an AC-10. And that's just a normal, well, not quite a normal stalker, but pretty close. So first things first, to the battle mechs, to my destroyed thug at loadout. You may remove the endoscope assault kit. And that'll be done in seven days, and then I'll strip it for parts. Oh, I need to pull off all the special gear.
53 days to rip everything off this thing. Alcor has a hero? Yeah, I saw. We'll probably be visiting it. Oh my god, what do we do to- Our Banshee is in pieces. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty rough. This is uh, what check happens the mark. Should... So you can have a cooling kit for uh, Talik. Uh, I'm not sure we have enough cash to buy one, even if there is one. I think they're pretty cheap. They're like the cockpit. Yeah, it's only 180,000 Seabills. That's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, yeah, I can get you a cooling tier 4. It's not a double heatsink kit. It'll certainly make a hell of a difference. That's what I can give you. Good on reinforced cockpits. Sensor range upgrade. There are so many lights with sensor upgrades, it's kind of unfunny. I was gonna buy a 325 red infusion core, but it's not gonna happen anymore. Cause it's in pieces. All right, star map. We are heading back to Alcor. Not go finished burying yet. Uh, I need to strip everything off of uh, off All of right. the thug anyway. That's gonna take forever. It's a grasshopper hero, really. Oh, it's also an uh, LSD line with three Gauss rifles. Wait, how slow is that damn thing? Uh, it's got a 300 rate fusion core, so it's a normal speed atlas. Oh, hey, we yeah, need to pick that one up. That for the uh, artillery mech. Can't, because it's got the uh, two of those Gauss rifles in the arm. That looks so oh, sexy, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. That looks so sexy. I like it a lot. Also attacked. Uh, Battlemaster, no. Cyclops, that's not terrible. And the Marauder is Sprug's Marauder again. Yeah, I want that Atlas. I can't afford that Atlas, but I want that Atlas. We I have some higher level pilots if you want to pick them up. Yeah, we'll do. I'm going to sell the Banshee. I don't think there's enough left in it to matter. I mean, the, the engine cooling upgrade's been destroyed. The engine's destroyed. All the stuff is destroyed. But they're willing to pay me 4 million Seabills for the chassis, and I will take it. Uh, and then when I finally sell the thug, that should give me another four-ish million sables. We might be able to pick up this atlas in, you know, a week, a month, a month-ish. I'm going to patch up the battle mechs that we currently have that are dented. Because it'll take no time at all. Except for this one. This, this one may take some time. Oh! oh. Did we put in the cooling? Um, it's bad. The, the, the Wolverine is dead. It is? 330 rated XL engine? Destroyed. How can it defending? be destroyed? I got out safely. Uh, because the way that Reloaded handles engine crits is it doesn't actually kill the mech. Um, oh, Reloaded is actually really, really forgiving when it comes to engine crits. I see exactly what you mean. That is weird. Yeah, that sucks. So uh, I lost my reactor even though I escaped? You lost the reactor, the gyro, and the engine cooling upgrade, as well as the arm. But that's just that's just because of the way that the game handles crits and the way that Reloaded handles engine crits. Um, you still got out. I mean, that's that's all worth it. It's not cell-worthy, right? Um, it's a 55-ton mech with no core. <laughs> that, that's where, <laughs> where I kind of come back to. I think it might be cell-worthy. <laughs> it's certainly not fixable as is right now. Um... So you'd have to get a core, I see. We would have to get a core. And it'd have to be an XL core of appropriate size. And that's going to be hard to come by. Uh, that's a 330 rate fusion core. That's going to cost us like so, 6 million seagulls. The mech survived. Oh yeah, the mech is still alive. I'm not. It's not like dead. It's it's not center torso destroyed because it wasn't. Um, but it does mean that this mech is in pieces. <laughs> that thing. Marauder did a number on me. Like I was okay after getting slammed by those PPCs, but no, the Marauder just about killed me. Yeah, he was the surprise death machine. He did just throw the cooling onto the Orion quickly, if you haven't already. Sure, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to patch up my... my badly dented Phoenix Hawk. Better laser. Reinforced arms, you don't need them. Uh, ooh, air vents. Well, maybe for the next mission I can go with something that isn't SRM heavy, but if you can keep that in the back of your mind to build something like that eventually. I will absolutely keep SRMs in my mind for things to build you. We do have a Javelin, uh, though it is rather small. and that is. What's the tonnage on that one? Uh, 30. 
or 35 tons. Yeah, if you guys are in heavies and assaults, I'm not super hyped about that. I mean, we'll be fighting heavies and assaults, and if they alpha the javelin, it's dead. Yeah, we we'll, could take uh, missiles, but it'd just be a catapult. Yeah, we got catapults with LRM 20s. We're a 21 tier pilot. The latest thing I would want to get in is a 55 at this point. Yep, yep. We'll keep that in mind. All right, we're going to travel over to Vinda Matrix just to kill some time. Uh, Talik, are you done with your... Yes, yes, done. Excellent. If we don't have an SRM boat, I'll pretty much take anything. I don't like LRMs, though. I like either SRMs or direct fire weapons. Oh, boy. We could put SRMs in the catapult. So there are three oh, wow. annihilators currently for sale. Eh? One of them is ballistics. And then we've got a rifleman with twin thumpers. Wait, what? What? Two thumpers, four medium lasers. That sounds like your artillery mech. This is nasty. <laughs> All right, so can I you need, afford any of them? I can afford the rifleman, and soon-ish I'll be able to afford the. Um, how long until that thug's done? I got one it's first. Uh, so if I go to the marketplace and I sell my my busted piece of crap thug, I'm at ten. Sell the six R. Oh well. Uh, that'll give me another three million seabills. I would be able to afford the Annie with the LB ten X auto cannons, which I'm really tempted to get. Oh, it's not it's not triple Gauss, but damn, it's a nice annihilator. We could sell one of the other mechs to upton to it. Maybe the Orion or something like that. Uh, the Orion's already built out. I want to keep that intact. Yeah, no, it's just... My dragon's the my... Dragon. Really, the, the thing that stands out is the catapult. Uh, although it does have an XL engine in it. Oh my god, what did you guys do to it? <laughs> we did a lot to it. <laughs> so I see. Um, and the Warhammer we have to keep... I really think we might want to sell the Wolverine, but we can afford the Annihilator right now, and I can sell parts. Uh, the question becomes whether or not we can afford the twin, the twin thumper rifleman, which is just hilarious. I think, I think let's go with that. Try and get the Annie, see what we do with it, and whatever parts we have spare. I will sell some. Wow, it is scarily intact. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love this model. There you go. Sold. Oh, we have a targeting computer. Even better. <laughs> right, I'm going to drive the Annihilator. <laughs> Just for a mission. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, we need four more million, and we need to come back to Vinda Matrix so that we can afford to pick up a... Uh, to pick up the Rifleman. But we will keep it in mind. Because that'll actually be pretty nice. It's a pretty awesome catapult. Yeah, it is. I was starting to think, oh, it's not a very good catapult. It's only a C1, and then I look, or a C4, and then I took a look at it. and It's like, no, it's got a, it's got XL engines in it. It's it's pretty pimped. Ooh, this is not a good mission to take, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna hope that we can kill things quickly. So no Wolverine. We'll probably end up selling the Wolverine, to be honest. Uh, you don't want anything lighter than that. Let's give you something that does not have missiles, that does not have... Oh my god, I really don't have anything for you. I've got a dragon, what? which... A rifleman with rifle. The thing is, it, it, you gotta be really careful with it. It's a classic, so just... Do me a favor, Sean, and don't... Don't, um... Don't dent the paint. What's the dragon got? A uh, single gauss rifle and... Uh, two large lasers. I'll take that, so I'm at less risk. <laughs> it's just, are we going to drop with some uptons, or are we going to lose some weight? I think we have to upton on this one, so we'll take the uh, the mulligan, which is we can't take the heaviest mic that's out there. Uh, which is going to hurt our cash a little bit. Give me something that'll, that'll make you freak out when you see it. Virus. Are you people's eyes bleed again. Oh, my pilot is horrific for my loadout here. You can swap them. Tempted. Eh, then that doesn't work out. I like Rosselhawk just because of the Scottish. color. <laughs> Arta needs a Scottish Annihilator. A Scottish Annihilator. 
Oh, where is Tartan? There it is. No, I, I can't do that to myself. Make my own eyes bleed at that point. Freedom! That's right, it's broke. <laughs> Have to make sure it was armed with like a big giant f off sword. <laughs> Mech size claymore. <laughs> oh, you can get them. They're just hard to find. Isn't that just like a sharpened freaking eye beam? Um. Well, you can get the vibro swords. Yeah, I had an atlas that ran around with a vibro sword, killing things. It was really funny. It moved at six something, I think, when the uh, charger was on. Nice. That's not too bad. But way too much time being incredibly vain. Looks like a spooky skeleton. Does it? Don't well, forget the Annihilator's kind of like the King Crab, where it's made out of head hitbox. Um, yeah, to LRMs. And right, we're gonna take our mulligan so that we can have the uh, have the Annihilator on the field, mainly because I'm, I'm incredibly. Not lazy, but I want to drive this damn thing. And I think... Well, actually, no, it's going to do incredibly poorly because it's so slow. That's okay. Be alive. Quad shotguns. I really, I really like the work that Navit did for the, um, for the 3D hub. Online. With all the yeah, icons and everything. All so. systems nominal. It needs the gyro upgrade. <laughs> it does. Oh my god. There's so Wait. much lag. Well, Hairbrain Schemes kept describing it as a mobile siege tower. I don't think they're wrong. Wait, I have eight medium lasers? Holy Eight? Shit, seven. But still. It's like a quick draw on plus. Well, it's also got, you know, four AC t uh, AC tens, so. But. Oh, that's a burn. Wow. Don't forget we're hanging back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this might be a good one. Three thirty-two point four kph will be there in a week. Contact. There goes most of them. Incoming helicopters. I shall swap. No way. Target acquired. Target destroyed. There we go. He's gone. <laughs> Lasers. Medium laser for doom. <laughs> These guys weren't expecting an annihilator with artillery to pop up over the hill. Oh, uh, the irony. I really should put a pair of long toms on this. That's the reason I bought this one, is to get the more rare, uh, the more rare energy version. Because at the end of the day, I cannot put a pair of long toms on this. Well, quite thumper. IMM readings are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Oh, convenient. Oh, oh, there goes the locust. In uh, I think it makes up for a little trap for your See if you can get a target if you're on your mag. Quad PBC is some of them. Quad PBC is fun, don't get me wrong. I do love it. I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, however, I can't put quad, quad long time on that. I think I'm being singled out. For obvious reasons. I'm gonna march down on top of him and see what happens. Ammo explosion? No! No! You are being put up. Wow. I know, if you guys wouldn't mind you know, Another drop right on top of this. That might be great. Another down. drop right on top of this. Whale. 
Oh, here comes a quick draw. Yeah, cool. I'm coming up behind you. My leg's about to go away. If I lose this Annihilator in the first mission that I bring it out, I'm going to be very, very sad. This thing is not doing much since he's open. Somebody kill him! He seems to be immune to artillery. That's not good. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Oh, okay. Oh, that poor annihilator. What do you mean poor annihilator? That annihilator almost ruined me. Derek damage compared to everyone else does the same thing. That's what I got. Could you get the four thumpers on the nanny? Yes, you can. You 100% can. Because you can put a you can put uh, thumpers in your hands. So two in the chest, two in the hands, and you got four thumpers. Okay, don't show yourself. An awesome. <laughs> He's almost dead. Yeah, the ammo explosion was just that. That kind of Nicely gutted me. Done. Get out of here while he's still alive. <laughs> Looks like yep, I'm just going to kill the dragon that was running around that here. That bounty is ours. Fahad will break open a case of Timbiki Dark That's when you get back time. to the ship safely. I'm so sad. I suppose it could be worse. I, could, I suppose we could have lost the entire Annihilator, but still, we just paid 9 million zeros for this thing. I think it was turrets that was just lighting you up, by the way. Uh, was it? I didn't notice any turrets. There, there were a lot of vehicles. Blowing the crap out of me. <laughs> Get us out of here! Annie with quad thumper and a targeting computer? I mean, maybe if we had all that kind of equipment, but we're gonna need a lot of cash if we want to build that. So, I don't know how we'll pull that off either. Gonna need time, it's gonna need cash. I'd like an XL engine to throw in there too to get a little bit of speed out of it. Because the XL engine isn't the glass jaw that it is in tabletop because of the way that Navid decided to work with crits. I'm not sure I agree with him on it, but that's just because I'm cruel and evil. Yeah, I'm really frustrated by that ammo explosion. <laughs> it's like suddenly half your mech is gone. Oh, we lost Sean. I'm um, on my way back in. Look at it. Quick draw, dragon, standard engine 280. Sure, we're not. Oh, there's really nothing useful here. I think we blew most of the useful stuff up. <laughs> We did. Hmm. I wonder if I should take the engine or not. It is worth a lot of money. Dragon's worth more. Uh, and also that gives me room to grab some PPCs that we actually do kind of need. Uh, we're good on single heat things. You see 10 ammo. Just in case. And... Big burst fires. Where's our DC oh, I already showed it off. Uh, I can say, even with the uh, level 4 double heatsink for upgrade, it works much better. Nice! Uh, let's see. By the way, 4 LB10s the fire cycle makes it so much more fun to play when you can go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Just hold it all down on the trigger. All right, back to this cycle. Ready for an invite. Travel, and then we'll give you an invite. So you can join us en route. Hey, we're making another for sale. Inventory. I have a dragon. I don't think there's anything special in the dragon. That's not the dragon I want to sell. Yeah, it's a very, it's a pretty beat up dragon. You can have it. Um, hmm. All right, we need to sell this Wolverine. Causes us in pieces. Puts me at a solid 9 million sea bills, which means Twin Thumper Rifleman is ours. Battle Max, go to fix that. Fix that. You guys take no damage. It's nice. It's nice. Because anything that comes close is just deleted. <laughs> well, let's see how bad this was. So, a single ton of LB10 ammo in the arms set off the whole thing actually really kind of disappointing. 
to save At least it's not well. like uh, BT where it can blow up your whole mech if you don't have a case. Well, it should, honestly. <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but yes, it should. How dare it not murder me. I think it's time. Oh, wow, it actually does have. It has double heat sinks on board. So that's interesting. How much ammo do you think four Ultra Auto Cannon 5s would need? Two tons per gun, so eight tons. Twelve. Oh, and you're talking UX? Oh, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, like twelve. 12. Yeah. Two, three, four, I've five, built that six, seven, before. Eight. I mean, that annihilator before. It is hilariously effective. Yeah, we've used it before. Am I? Did I forget any? Need like a minimum of twelve tons. Unfortunately, I don't have that much space. Which is a bit of a problem, I'll admit. But I cram can cram in that much. I can use up every single slot that I've got. Do I have a gyro upgrade? Stockpit. Reinforced legs to make sure it doesn't blow itself apart. I mean, it's oh, definitely to... grab that targeting computer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sensors. Targeting computer. I still have more tonnage. Uh, I just don't have any slots. Oh, don't forget the gyro upgrade too. I don't have any, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'll totally would. Pregnant whale time then. <laughs> Pregnant whale. Sit at long range and just fire on in. Thing back with us, man. Is It'll there anything hilarious. in the shop that we can afford? Um, I'm getting kind of low on cash, so I'm trying to avoid doing it. No, well, it's only 200,000. There you go. Buy it. It's still going to be a breaking whale, but at least it'll move. Inventory. Not that. But in fact, that. There we go. So seven okay. medium lasers, four UAC-5s, ten tons of ammo. We'll see what happens. I may remove some lasers to put on more ammunition, but we'll find out. You Last poor bastard. With that standard 200 engine. Oh, God. Uh, should I? Oh, yeah, it is a 200. <laughs> but it continues to operate. So we'll do all of the UX on one, all of the lasers on two. We'll turn four into a chain fire group. And depopulate three because I don't use it. For those of you who wonder why, I have the the classic mouse with the, the numpad on the side, so three would require a, quite the push. Whereas four is right there. Alright, 89 days and 330. Got tonnage for a bigger engine? I do. Um, it's not going to be in service for a little while because I'm going to try out the Roffelman 3N and we'll see what happens. Our scout mech is a dragon for our artillery section. It's not necessarily a bad thing. That's the thing. Though. That sounds about right. Yeah, dragons were skirmishers and long range scouts. I mean, it's equipped with a gauss rifle, which is perfect for that long range thing. I would kind of prefer to have its large lasers as an SRM 6 and some medium lasers, but I mean, you kind of take what you got. It works out. Alright. Annihilator refit, 62 days. We're going to ignore it. I have more work to do on that annihilator. Ooh, wow, this is just cruel. They're not giving us much salvage at all. There's a 400 ton limit, though. Alright, give this me... This is going to involve tank. Give me the artillery. I need to paint this thing. They painted in classic Davian colors. But I get the feeling that would be a little bit too on the nose. So we've got, what, 280 tons? Uh, let me check. I think so, though. 400 times 0. 0.7. Yep, 280. We are cruel to ourselves. I actually like that a lot. You have limited ammo in that thing, too, so something to keep in mind. How bad is it? 
Uh, you've got two bins of 40 rounds, so you've got 80 rounds. That's actually really bad. Which, oh my god, it's got a 200 rate of fusion core? Oh, it's, yeah. ah, okay. never mind. <laughs> it's a 50 It's a 60 tonner. It's not as bad as I thought. It's almost full armored, so... So, in the future, while we're waiting for the load to happen... By the way, if we're all loaded, let me know. Uh, obviously, what we do is we take this... Come on. In there. Put that like so. Uh, we throw in an engine cooling upgrade. And I do not have heavy internals. Huh. I would need... 13 and a half tons in order to fit in that standard engine 300. We'll work on that, though. It'll happen. Just you watch. And strip out, like, two of those medium lasers for two more tons of ammo. <laughs> Please do not say such evil things. Ah, uh, we'll find some weight saving somewhere. I'm sure we can pick it off someone's body. Absolutely. Hi. We'll strip it off someone's corpse. They don't need it. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> Good the idea. There we go. All set up. My weapon groups should not fail me. Alright, uh, almost no. all loaded. Get Rando's on the same boat, he's like, remove some medium lasers, put it all together. <laughs> Got tonnage for a bigger engine now? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, going from a 2 to a 300 rate vision core is a pretty big jump. Right up, Sean. And that's gonna be at Jeez. least 10 tons. Those 10 tons are gonna have to come from somewhere, and I can't put in weight saving equipment because I've maxed out slots. I think we can always just turn the Annihilator into just a massive artillery boat, which we may do. We are Quad probably thumping. going to. Quad thumpers. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be great. Oh, that would be hilarious. I approve. <laughs> Thud gun at that point. Ah, oh, I'm short again. No! Welcome to the little club. I don't even come up to the gantry. <laughs> Me, I barely do. Reactor online. Sensors online. Supposed to be looking online. down on people when you're so short. Weapons online. All right. systems phenomenal. Let's go. This bounty is only payable if we bring the entire group to justice. So you will have to search the I've area. I made sure to paint my mech in colors bright enough to actually be seen. And dealt with before we can pack it in. Uh, no, we're gonna go for the northern ones and just kind of hope. Or do you think we should go for the southern one and just think that they'll all be at the facility with the. With the spa and the nice things. It's probably better to go no one. Clustered objectives. Why is it foggy in the leopard? Because it's foggy out here. I hate the fog. But you That's what predator for vision is for. Well, this makes it decently fast compared to the annihilator. But then again, anything is fast compared to the annihilator. Dude. Ground is fast compared to that thing. <laughs> I think it's slower, the same as as slower than the urban mech. The difference is the urban mech gets to his 30 tons and carries an AC 20. And five rounds of ammo. Still, you can get about 14 bloody <laughs> urban mechs for one annihilator. That's a lot of AC 20s. Yeah. One entry, not 100 meters. Changing. That's the good banshee too. Uh, we got a we got a touch base to activate him. Come on, Rihanna, activate so I don't have the order to Take them out and let's get the hell out of here. New target acquired. Target destroyed. <laughs> nice work. That was funny. Target destroyed. That urban mech just disappeared. How and, cute. Uh... Target acquired. Kill confirmed. Good shot. Light up to our left. Target acquired. How? Is this turrets or what? Ah, 
Oh wow, He's... you did not miss. <laughs> I'm not sure the fact that can keep up with what you guys are doing. No, no, I don't think it can. <laughs> also, I have a red cockpit. Did somebody hit you on the cockpit already? Yeah, pretty badly, too. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Uh, Stacey's an idiot, but you're What? Company needs to hit uh, to do damage really. Ah. So I don't have a radius, I just have to nail the target. In that case, it's pretty much just an AC 10. Target acquired. That's the sort of benefit that it spreads out. You get to do damage with it. I use my left to so it's exposed. New target acquired. Yeah, I always open up my side torso and my arms and all my things. Very yep, that was that was a locust. Couldn't see whatever that was, but you know, enough firepower into the mist pool that should destroy everything. Fire behind us commander. directly. I've marked it on your tax screen. Alright, what's our what's our special prize here? It is an awesome from silhouette. Oof, that's not great. Just handling a bug. It is an awesome with large Oh, it's, a, it's the uh, AT. The missile one? Yep. Igor behind us. Oh, oh that's, okay. that's very bad. There he goes. Four medium lasers is a pretty decent idea, Graf. No cover for you! <laughs> How about a four PPZ awesome? Can you even do that? Yeah, that's actually a cannon. That's a cannon awesome variant. It was uh, done at the Battle of Misery because they realized they were having serious ammunition problems. So they decided to mount four PPCs onto an awesome. And a ton of heat sinks. It does actually work out fairly nicely. It's gonna handle that. There we go. That was oh, that's not an awesome? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking the Annihilator. You can also put four PPCs on an awesome. It's not that hard. The trick, of course, is to remove armor. The 9S they put four PPCs on when they got double heat sinks? Uh, yeah, that's... Like you said, after the double heat sink upgrade. Hiding from him. Unbreakable cover. He's smart. You said something about unbreakable oh, cover. From my angle, he was hiding behind the low of the hill. Now he's just like, uh, effort. You bastards! Why do they always Take up your me? arm. Tango down. He's dead. That's it. How do they just zero you out every time? They always do. It's so painful. Actually, no, I know the reason why. Uh, the reason why is because despite having two artillery pieces, which do basically nothing uh, in terms of enemy aggro, I still have four medium lasers. And because you shoot things down with four medium lasers, the AI is like, oh, you're actually dangerous. So. I might sell this off, this rifleman. Broke no it already? Funny idea, but... Yeah, I know. But it didn't have twin gauss, so it's not like I was protecting things too carefully. Uh, it's fun, you can delete a cicada's leg in one shot. I mean, with the right kind of artillery, yeah. Am I going into the right way? Oh no, that's a dead end. Uh, Maybe if we fired enough cannon fire into it, it would collapse. Gotta go slightly left here. Yep. Bought any other already? Ah. Yeah, you can delete a cicada in one shot. On tabletop with that. 40 damage is no joke. And at that range? That's pretty nice. Uh, I believe they aim at you because you're a player one in a solo game, you'd lose if you go down. So they're cheating. 
is what I hear you saying. I'm a bit surprised that the thumper has its own icon. Please be at the last target. Don't make us have to make the four kilometer trip down south. At least let me feel like call an artillery support to bomb it. But we don't control manually. That of course being the primary difference. Isn't that coming soon? In the DLC thing that they're Target planning? The field, we don't Commander. have control over they're it, but yeah. I jinxed it? What did I jinx? Oh, the the enemy? Yeah, probably. Apparently we found it is, yeah. Healthy soldier, thank you for the subscription. It's and and nice with us. If you've got the heartbeats, spam them in the chat because we have more support continuing on. At least this is an iron harvest level. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's very different. Four large lasers and a burst fire AC10 plus SM fours, but we're never gonna get that close. There's an Irby here too, but it's not cute. Oh, apparently not. Okay, he's dead. Yay. Oh, poor Irby. We came to the wrong place. I missed, damn it! <laughs> damn it! Comedic timing! Okay, I'm gonna start on a three, three plus kilometer trip down south because. Well, the Steiners are getting way more out of this than they're paying me for. Oh, I just walked right into that now. Yup. Because we're only getting like 15 salvage out of this one. It's crazy. They don't have enough reputation with them yet. It's almost like they don't like us or something. Well, no, see, we have a good reputation. We can afford to get up to 30, uh, 30 salvage if they authorize it in the mission, but the mission was capped. Which is a little bit weird to me. We will have to do something about this, Mike. We may just sell it, we'll rip the fopper off of it, sell it, and put the uh, the equipment on the Annihilator, maybe. Although that Annihilator we know does work. We've used it in the past. Although, with those AC-5s, those were less UAC-5s and more kind of Rack-5s. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Yeah, the jam rate for UACs is quite high. Stick up along this ridge, I think. Just gonna match the. Yeah, can't get up there. The dragon might be able to do it. But I was maxed. More jump jets. Legend Killer has jump jets, or at least he should have jump jets. That's the uh, AC-285 one, right? Mm hmm? Legend Killer, that's the special one. AC-10s. Two LB-10... Well, th originally there was like... They didn't know if they had Lost Tech in it or not. And then when uh, PGI made it for Megware Online, they said, Oh yeah, Legend Killer's got all kinds of Lost Tech in it. So it got like double heat sinks, LB-10s, and... I think an XL engine, or at least one. They've released a couple of special riflemen. I think I have the loyalty rifleman, which has, I think, two racks on it. Which is just hilarious. So the Annie is it? Yeah, it's a ballistic Annie. We might end up buying the energy Annie as well, because why not? Just get all annihilators. In the last campaign we couldn't find any at all. Like we had the one from the story campaign in season one. But we just couldn't find the damn thing after that. Oh, too high. Uh, I can't stuff for thumper send it? Why not? The thumper should only weigh a little bit more than an AC-10, so I put an XL engine on that. That should be a piece of cake. Four snipers starts becoming a little bit more problematic, and then there's... it literally just cannot handle for, uh, for long times. In the short long term? Uh, long term cannon? I still think it might be too big. Numbers are actually smaller than hands. Yep. Yeah, it's less of a weight concern. I'll, actually, no, literally you would be able to do it. It'd be 120 tons a gun. Which yeah, the Highlander can't do. 
Oh, mind the drop. <laughs> You're gonna lose your legs I'll falling die. that far? No, it's not that bad. Don't you have about like a point or two damage, really? I've got 25 shots. It's funny. Like, le it's like watching lemmings. <laughs> you guys will be done. Still no target. Ah, it's a boom. Target it's a boom Jaeger. They need some 20s. Target destroyed. I hit him with our target. Stalker 3H. Primary target identified. Yep, that's okay. Secondary targets are with them. Let's make this quick. Oh, the Jaeger and the Nerve Maker all on top of each other. New target acquired. That is two million laser to burst fire. In exchange for speed. It's basically a clint. And he lost all the weapons now. <laughs> No, no. Ow. My face. My beautiful face. I think I have no, uh, no head armor anymore. I think I'm about to die. On the right side, if I die to headshots, it does not actually affect the mech. Oh, that poor stalker just got singled out by three shots. Nice. At last, for Jaeger, I love you, but goodbye. Dang it, I missed again! Should I get us out of here or wait? Uh, we'll uh, just head kill forward, Jaeger, I think. But, yeah, head forward, though. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we're done. Medium light mech, jab them. Yeah, there's a lot of lights coming our way. So I'd rather not die. Uh, it's always used a target computer. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably I can, do. I don't know if I can fit one on his mech though. He's pretty tightly wound. All right, we're gonna put. Doesn't take weight. We're gonna put in a cut in here for YouTube. Don't worry, we're still gonna be streaming for the next few hours. But YouTube people need to get their cuts up. So to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Tyrank. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe for more Make Warrior Five content. And I will see you all in the next episode.